hello and welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we are going to be looking at how to trace or project values on a graph and that's what i mean by this this curve shows the distance traveled by a, a free falling body at any point in time so we want to be able to trace on a graph that at 6.7 seconds the body will have traveled to 20 meters and there's the formula well y being the distance is related to half of gravity times x which is the seconds squared okay so let's not talk much let me just show you how to do that okay so let's remove everything left with only our graph and then we can begin okay so from here basically what we have done is that there's a line from this point to this point and there's, there's a line from this point to this point so we have point one point two point three and these points have been connected by a line that is basically what we've done so let's note this is 220 this is 6.71 so let's come back and just do the same thing so we have our 220 here and our 6.7 here so what it basically means is that we have a point here which is on the y-axis where x is 0 and y is 220 so our x is 0 and our y is 220 that is the first point then it projects to a point here where our y is still 220 but our x is now 6.7 so our x will be 6.7 and our y will be 220 and then finally the third point which is somewhere around this place where our x is 6.7 but because we are on the x axis our y will be zero so 6.7 and then our y will be zero so now that we've done this we are going to add it to our graph as another line which will be drawn so to do that we just do this select data and then we say add so we are going to add another series these are x values for the series name you can leave it blank and then these are our y values okay then once you do that you see okay let's move this up so that it will appear and then you see okay okay so basically it is there but it looks curved and we don't want it to be curved we want it to be straight so what we are going to do is we are going to come to the chat menu here and we say change chat type what we are going to do is we are going to make it a combo chart and that's how you make a combo chart that means a chart with different elements so you come to combo and then for the first one you make it scatter with smooth lines and then for the second one you make it scatter with straight lines straight lines and markers yeah. so you select that one and then what is still causing this confusion is that this one has been put on the secondary axis so you move it you remove it so that they are all on the same axis and then oh sorry our <laughs> our series 2 is rather the one that should have straight lines and then our straight line should be scattered with smooth lines we want a curve and then once we've done all this we see okay and that is it we get our graph but this since this one is the one that is being used to trace we don't want it to be very bold we don't want it to take all over to take over the whole graph so we tone it down a bit right click and say format the data series and then we come here and we change some of these options so let's make it black and then let's change the two dots let's reduce the width okay this visible now we can change yeah and now once we've done that 
we are okay the problem is with this currently is that we have our x values and our y values being hard coded we actually pick them from our work that we've already done so what happens if we want to look at maybe 7.3 or any figure like that what will happen is should i if i should change this to 7.3 this one to also 7.3 it doesn't really give us the figure so what we really need to do is to change this one into the formula so that when x changes y will change accordingly so let's put input the formula uh, four and then raise to the power two okay so that is it and then let's make this figure let's make it equal to this one so that as soon as that one changes that out to change and then let's make this figure to equal to this figure and that is it anytime we change one the other will change so let's look at 9.3 and immediately our graph will move to show 9.3 okay so this is the first method of doing it if you have any questions leave them in the comments you can also reach me on whatsapp if you have my number or anything and i'll get back to you so this is basically how to do it and in one of these tutorials i'll teach you how to make nice graphs like this and how to format your work to look nice okay so let's end this then catch you another time for the second tutorial which i'll show you the second way to do something like this thank you